weather. Why not? Oh, I know had to go out with a bang and unfortunately we are watching for a little bit more of an upgraded threat for the day today. Now keep in mind, even though the Storm Prediction Center did upgrade our threat to that slight or two out of five risk for severe storms for now, most of central Georgia rather than just a piece of our westernmost counties. I still don't think this is going to necessarily be a huge widespread severe event. I'm still thinking that we're going to have the chance for just a few strong to severe storms for the afternoon today, but the reason the Storm Prediction Center did upgrade our threat is simply because the front is going to move through a little earlier than originally anticipated. So this is what we're looking at for today between around 3 and 10 o'clock, starting 3 o'clock this afternoon, and then going to around 10 o'clock tonight. We'll be on the lookout for maybe a few strong to severe storms for the day today. Gusty wind, heavy rain, frequent lightning, and some small hail. Those will be our most widespread threats today. Most of us will experience some sort of gusty wind and some sort of rain, even some heavier downpours. Now, a brief isolated tornado, especially if you're west and north of Macon. I don't think that could be completely ruled out, but I do think that threat is extremely isolated. That threat for the tornadoes definitely more out in Alabama than it is for us here in central Georgia. And I think the severe threat as a whole is definitely more elevated out in Alabama rather than here where we are. What we're looking at right now is, of course, our cold front. That's what we'll be keeping an eye on as we go through the day today. Warm front continuing to lift north through the area, leaving us very warm for the start of the day. You're definitely going to notice that it's mild and muggy out there. We're currently in the low 60s and that humidity is also up a good bit. We had a few showers roll through in the overnight. Now all the rain is off to our north. We are nice and dry for the start of the day, so no issues if you are getting ready to head out the door for work or school this morning. And we should stay mainly dry for the morning. It won't be until the early afternoon where we'll watch for storms to start to roll into the area. By this time, by around 2-3 o'clock, we'll keep an eye on any storms that fire out ahead of this front. That's not the physical front that we'll be moving through. We will have a little bit of wind shear to work with. Our instability or fuel for storms at this point isn't necessarily impressive, but we'll still keep an eye on any storms out ahead of the front that will start to move through the area by around 5, 6 o'clock. And this is when I think we'll really watch for that potential for a few severe storms. Gusty wind again is going to be our most widespread threat in stronger storms. So just below severe limits, we're looking at 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts. And then in severe storms, we'll look for 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And again, because this front's moving through during the heat of the day, you'll get some of those stronger updrafts that can sustain all those water droplets and create hail. Small hail will definitely be something we'll be on the lookout for for the day today. By 10 o'clock, everything should start to kind of calm down. We'll lose all that fuel for storms and we'll be left with at least a chance for a few rumbles of thunder. But I think by 10 o'clock, our severe threat should come to an end. Rain will linger through the overnight. At least it will be possible. And then we will be nice and cool by tomorrow morning. Today, low 80s out ahead of that front. So clearly we're going to be warm and have a good bit of fuel for those storms. And then we'll wake up tomorrow morning in the upper 30s and low 40s. Tomorrow afternoon, temperatures are only going to be in the mid 50s. And we'll keep that even into Friday. We'll gradually warm every day as we go through the rest of the seven day with temperatures near 70 by Easter Sunday. And after we get past today, we'll stay dry through Tuesday.